are very excited to present our results um, we, um, on distribution growth, 8.1% uh, up. We uh, gave a focus range of 97 to 99 cents. We've come at 99.45 cents, which is above the focus range that we gave and also above the market consensus. Uh, our assets are up by 44% from 5.3 billion to about 7.6 billion uh, in the reporting year. We uh, also, our net property income uh, that underpins the distribution is 37.2 percent up uh, from 407 to 559 million and uh, our gearing uh, has gone up uh, to about 38 percent which is still very good uh, levels uh, from uh, 25 percent when we started the year and our cost of debt has come down to about 7.9 percent uh, average across the board uh, from last year i think some of the key highlights uh, include the fact that we have um, increased um, our portfolio and uh, down acquisitions uh, in the uh, in the uh, reporting here to about a uh, tune of 2.3 billion uh, of assets without having to come to market uh, to raise equity which is quite important and and that followed uh, strategic uh, um, moves that we made in in the prior year of uh, equity raise uh, which gave us a lot of good headroom and very low debt um, giving us capacity to capitalize on good opportunities and as you've seen we've um, to transfer of a very good quality portfolio of interest portfolio of 1.1 billion in the uh, reporting year. We also were able to uh, acquire 32% uh, of Ascension, 32.1% of Ascension, um, and full control of the Manco, which we acquired for 150 million in the reporting period. <coughs> We've seen stable distribution growth despite the volatility in the markets um, and um, and we've also seen, you know, our government, despite all the uh, noise in the market, paying, uh, continue to pay. It's a fourth year since we've been listed. They continue to pay on time, in fact, in advance in most cases. So, you know, if you really have a good relationship, um, you shouldn't have issues. They just need patience. But um, we don't see bad debt issues at all. Um, we don't have deferred uh, payments or anything like that. Um, the, um, I think, going forward prospects, uh, we're looking forward to the Ascension uh, scheme of arrangement uh, where we could uh, increase our portfolio from the uh, current 7.6 to about 11 billion um, in, the, um, in, in, the, um, in the current year. And um, that will give us scale and liquidity that we spoke about when we pursued the transaction from the start. So we're looking forward to consummating that uh, in the current year. We also, uh, we also um, you know, well positioned for future growth uh, in, in finding good quality assets. They're very rare in the market, but you're not going to rush out and buy assets for sake of uh, growth. We'll be cautious, we'll be careful, but uh, we will um, continue to search for good quality assets uh, in, in the market. We have 19 assets. We'll be integrating 28 assets from, uh, from Ascension if the scheme of arrangement goes ahead. So, you know, we'll, we'll still have a very good, sizable, big, chunky, uh, quality assets uh, under pinning the portfolio, which is quite nice. We already run the uh, Ascension portfolio. We understand it very well. So I think the company is very well positioned going forward in the future. Pipeline-wise, um, the Billion Group uh, pipeline is still available to us as and when it's available. Uh, they uh, completed the Forest Hill, which opened quite successfully, and the trading densities look good. Uh, it's been growing uh, month to month uh, at, uh, at a very good pace, very well planned mall, good talent mix. Massive entertainment in the mall, which makes it unique and distinguishes it from uh, any other regional centre. 